great day in downtown Fort Wayne because today we're pleased to announce the completion of the West Columbia streetscape. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you so much for coming out this afternoon. Certainly, it's another great day in downtown Fort Wayne because today we're pleased to announce the completion of the West Columbia streetscape. As many of you know, this, this particular street has a, a long history in the city of Fort Wayne, so it was very important that we took our time and as we, as we revitalized the area, we knew it had to be something very special. That's why it took a while and we appreciate your patience. Uh, we wanted truly to make it something special, not only for you as the citizens of Fort Wayne, but obviously those who come, our, come visit uh, our city as well. I also want to congratulate the model group for the fantastic job that they did in revitalizing this historic block. In fact, I want to say congratulations to everybody who was involved. There were a lot of people behind the scenes to make this a reality, and every single one of them deserves our congratulations for a job well done. I particularly want to thank Nancy Townsend. Nancy, Nancy is a, is she, she's kind of an unsung hero in a lot of projects and initiatives that the city has. She's extremely humble. Uh, she always gives the credit to me or to others on the team. Uh, she doesn't seek the limelight like I do. She, uh, <laughs> but yet she is such an important asset to our city. And I, Nancy, I know. Uh, uh, you don't like doing this, but I want you to come up and say a few words. Nancy Townsend. Thanks, Mayor. It's great to be here. Uh, good afternoon, for, Nancy. Good afternoon. It's good to be here to represent you, Mayor. Thanks for those kind words. Also, a pleasure to be here uh, representing the Redevelopment Commission. Um, they're a very important uh, commission in our community, and they're, they're critical in getting these types of projects and our other public-private partnerships and other public and public infrastructure improvements done. I think a few of them are here today. Uh, Mark Becker, Christopher Guerin, and Steve Corona I saw are here. So really want to acknowledge them and, and uh, let them know how much I appreciate their support and leadership on projects like this and many other ones. Um, just to summarize, I mean, in just a few words, we are so proud of this street, streetscape. Um, it's of the same high quality to match the work of the model group, Superior Lofts, Promenade Park, and the boutique hotel. You can't have exceptional developments without framing them with exceptional streetscapes. The design truly creates a special place, not a place people want to pass through, but where they want to stay and enjoy. And we really expect to see a lot of that going on throughout the winter and the summer um, and years to come. It's another piece of our continued revitalization of downtown and the nearby riverfront. I want to thank our landscape architect. Uh, she works in our office and uh, she is, she's amazing. She does all kinds of things for us. Um, her name's Stacy Haviland. Stacy? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about an unsung hero. That, that's Stacy. Um, she helped coordinate this streetscape, and it's her vision and dedication to detail that's made it a place we can be, all be proud of. So, so again, thank you, Stacy. I'd like to note that uh, we're not <clears throat> only celebrating the beautiful streetscape along West Columbia, but also the intersections of Harrison and Calhoun Streets. At Harrison Street, <clears throat> just to the north here, we've completed another section of the Urban Trail, which currently extends from Promenade Park and will eventually reach all the way down to Harrison, all the way down to Parkview Field along Harrison Street. This Urban Trail will provide safe opportunities for biking and walking throughout our downtown, and will connect our fantastic trail system to our downtown, and also serve as an economic stimulus to fill <clears throat> storefront space with retail and other things. Um, Public Works was our partner in this great effort, and I'd like to invite City Engineer Patrick Zaharico to say a few words about the design. Thank you, Nancy. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, Patrick. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming out on this. Could we have got a better day for this in this time in October? I don't think so. Just to give you some of the highlights uh, that were included in this project, if you look down the street, some of the the benches that are included 
They're a, a high density uh, wood that will last us for a very long time. And if you're out here at night, you'll notice that they have underlighting in them that helps accent the street and give it a special effect. To go along with this project, uh, around those branches, benches, you will see low areas that we use for not only aesthetics, but for stormwater detention. So they do serve dual purposes. The beautiful trees you see are London Plains that will go nice and big and help provide a lush and, and beautiful environment. We've got unique street lights for this section, as you can see with the signs that are on them pronouncing this the landing. Yeah, the landing. <laughs> One of the things that we did different on this project to make it stand out is the surface you'll see on the street. Uh, this is a very nice architectural feature. As you look down the street, you'll see that the street area for vehicles to pass through is one set of colors and then the sidewalk that is another set of colors to designate. But there is no curb line. So the intent is this is a slow moving street uh, when we do have cars on it and it's fully accessible for all forms of uh, pedestrian movement. And one of the great features that we'll highlight here in just a second when we do the opening is these gate features. And they are set up for easy open and close so we can make this either a uh, thoroughfare for vehicles or for pedestrians only at, at a moment's notice. Uh, I want to thank everybody in Public Works that worked on this project, especially Ezra Broman, who was out here about on a daily uh, basis helping make sure everything got installed correctly and so that it would drain nicely. Uh, we also had lots of people from our tech services helping and we, I want to thank them. One of our partners in this was Streeby Construction. They are our general contractor and we want to thank them and all their subcontractors yeah. for all their help, especially Brandon and Brian. Thank you guys. And with that, I want to say what a wonderful new feature we have for the city of Fort Wayne. And with that, I'm going to turn it back over to the mayor. Thank you. Good job. Good job. I'm going to ask Steve Smith from the model group to come up and say a few words as well. But before I do, I want to thank all of you for allowing this to happen. On several occasions, we surveyed the citizens of Fort Wayne and we asked them what else they wanted in downtown Fort Wayne. We had tried to put together a number of hospitality offerings, sports offerings, other types of amenities that we thought the citizens and visitors to Fort Wayne would want. And one of the things that kept coming up over and over again is, Mayor, we want a gathering place. We want a place to socialize as a group. Restaurants are great, but, you know, after a few hours, they want us to leave so they can turn the table. Where can we just hang? That's why this was done. To provide a place for all of you to hang out. These gates are going to be closed most of the time, so there won't be any vehicular traffic to worry about. They will have the opportunity to open up for deliveries and for people who move, in, move into the apartments. If you haven't seen the apartments yet, you are in for a real thrill. But the primary reason is because you ask for this as another amenity, as another offering to downtown Fort Wayne. So if anybody deserves congratulations, it's all of you. This is what you wanted, and this is what you've got. So thank you for that. And right now I'd like to ask Steve Smith from the model group to come up and say a few words as well. Steve? Thank you. Uh, our mission at the model group is to positively transform communities and we, that, that's what we, we promised when we came and, and met with the, the mayor and the city leaders uh, for the first time. We promised that we would do that but we needed help because we know great cities have at least a couple of things. Great cities have a number of things but great architecture uh, which the landing has and great amenities, great public spaces. and. Um, so to see what uh, the leadership in this city has done at the landing to create, as the mayor said, this gathering space, uh, we are blown away. 
This is the this is the first project that we did have done in in Fort Wayne, and we did know what it was going to be like collaborating with a new group of of leadership and stakeholders, and um, we have felt nothing but welcomed. And um, usually, uh, when folks uh, promise that they will do you know some some public improvements and some streetscape, it starts off on paper looking something like this, but by the time it gets done. Uh, it's been, it, everything's just been scaled back to the point that it's unrecognizable. But what's happened here and what's happened at the park is a place that, that is going to be a major draw, not just for the citizens of Fort Wayne, but for anybody who comes to Fort Wayne. So well done. And we are so uh, happy uh, and, and honored that the city trusted us um, to, to, to renovate the landing and, and, and Again, the, the streetscape is amazing. One of the, the promises that we made, if we didn't make it explicitly, it was at least implied, is that if you support the landing uh, and if you do the streetscape, we will fill these things up. And I'm, I'm pleased to report today that for 100% of the commercial spaces, we have signed leases or letters of intent. 100%. Thank you. Thank you. And so, you know, the, the idea is we want a place for people to live, to work, and to play, and that's what the landing is. And so, um, Mayor, Nancy, unbelievable. I, I can't thank you enough. We, we appreciate it, and we're so happy to be here in Fort Wayne. Thank you. As Steve mentioned, there are a lot of stakeholders involved in this particular initiative and one of them was the downtown trust the downtown trust is a, is a trust that helps us finance particular projects and other types of, of offerings in downtown fort wayne and one of the key members of that is, is mac parker and i've asked mac to come forward as well and just say a few words to you mac What a great day. What a great day. I see a lot of happy faces out there, but the happiest faces are those with the Downtown Development Trust because we've been working on this for seven years. Seven years and uh, to buy all these great buildings. And let me tell you that if you want to get a hard job, try buying buildings when people know there's going to be a development done. <laughs> this was not easy at all, but thanks to our attorney and thanks to Kirk Moriarty and our board, our board, many of the board and former board are here today. Hold up your hands there, Carl and Tom and so on there. These are the people that have worked a long time on this. I'd also like to thank the people who lent us money. The trust started out we did not have zero, not one. And to buy seven buildings in downtown without any money, let me tell you, was another difficult job. But anyway, we got from funds from the city and from redevelopment and from the legacy fund and from HUD and the community foundation and uh, the regional, uh, 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 regional development authority and from Indianapolis from the Indiana Economic Development, and finally Lake City Bank. Anybody else that we could find, we borrowed from, I'll tell you that. <laughs> there. And they're great partners, great partners to have. There. Well, I'd also like to thank the mayor and the Board of Works and Nancy and so on for the great streetscape you have here. This is really amazing. There, I, I said the sycamores are back. Even the sycamores are back. And we've got a great mural standing right there and good partners right down the street with the new park and a new hotel coming just yeah. over here. So the landing this time around will move forward with some new partners. But lastly, I'd new like guest, to thank again. Oh, we do have, yeah. we do have there. I'd like to thank again our board from the Downtown Development Trust. These people had a real passion for this, and they put in a lot of hard work over a long period of time, well, as I say, seven years 
on this alone there, and I can't, can't thank them enough. And the landing, the landing has risen again, I say with new partners, the new park and the hotel, and it's going to be even more successful than it's been in the past. Thank you all. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Get ready to look at David. Now we'd like to do the ceremonial ribbon cutting, but in this particular case, it's going to be the gate lifting. And uh, after that, obviously, you're all more than welcome to peruse the area. Uh, as was said, we now have 100% of the storefronts occupied. Uh, a significant percentage of the apartments have been uh, either rented or, again, letters of intent. Uh, I think this is going to be a tremendous statement for the city of Fort Wayne. So again, thank you all, and let's go ahead and open this thing up.